Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. O oh, Grandfather God, in the name of thy Son, Lord, Father God, Jesus Christ, I pray unto both of you, please do what's written for me. For the children do not know that your son, Grandfather God, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please forgive them, for they know not what they do. Welcome again to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He can show you better than we can read. What the Lord promised. St. John, the 14th chapter, the 26th verse. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things into remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Them that is head of Lord God's house will not teach you that someone is going to be sent. Things that is written, I ask the children of God's house to ask them head of God's house. Is it true? Now I ask you to ask them, is Lord God and Grandfather God going to send someone. I read to everyone, Jesus Christ created everything and where it is written, who believe the true and living word. It is written, 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter, the 26th verse. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. Is it true that Lord God's children has a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation? An interpretation? Is this what is taught? How do you edify Lord God's word? Read for yourself. It is written, Jeremiah, the second chapter, the 19th verse. Thy own wickedness shall correct thee. And thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that thy fear is not in thee, said the Lord of hosts. Because Lord God fear is not in you, Lord God is going to show you what he said is true. Lord God is going to do that which is written. That is what I pray. Oh, Lord, do what's written for me. No one believe me. You wonder how. You wonder how Lord going to do this. I set to my seal that Lord God is true. Wisdom is the beginning of fear. Our fear is the beginning of wisdom. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. People say they don't have fear. They don't have to fear the Lord God. 
it is written. Proverbs, the first chapter, the seventh verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but who despise but fools despise wisdom and instructions. I'll read this again. It is written, Proverbs, the first chapter, the seventh verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. I'm a fool. I don't know what to do. No one believe me. He will not stop me from reading the truth. As I say, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. And don't forget, Grandfather God. I don't have one. I have two. It's a fearful thing to fall in both of their hands. It is written, Proverbs, the first chapter, the 31st verse. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them in the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Read for yourself. This is the beginning of the end. This is the last time. Let the truth be told. Who believe? Let God be true and every man a liar. It is written what has happened and what is going to happen. Who believe? Lord God promised to do what is written. You can pick up dog shit, but you can't pick up God's word, read for yourself. The truth will make me free. I can read it. The truth was given to me to share with you. I'm glad I can read. I wrote this to you. And what I read to you is what I wrote. So you can't come back to me and say that I'm lying because all I have read to you is God's word. Not like those that are head of God's house and tell you interpretations to tell you what to believe. All I can do is tell you what's written and read it to you. It's up to you to read for yourself. Don't take my word. I say this often. Don't take my word. Because I cannot tell someone that knows everything anything. And God knows. I tell my kids and I tell the women that have been in my life, I don't know if you're lying to me or not, but God knows. You can grin and skin in my face because they've been doing that for years. They lied to us and told us to vote for a lottery that they took away from poor people because, you know, they used to do that in the hood. Yeah, I was the houseman one time, booking numbers, doing other things. But they did not do what they say they was going to do. If they was to take the deficit and use the lottery to get rid of it, in five years, we won't have no deficit. They 
send children to the army to they send children to war and bring them back here and misuse them. Oh, we always say, well, thank you for going over there. We appreciate you going over there to war for us. But yet again, you set up charity for them. The government won't even help them. Oh, well, they do help a little, I guess. They got uh, VA hospitals, which they fired people because they were stealing money, which they fired people because they were beating people out of money. Doctors wasn't doing their duties. Yes. This is an awful, mean world. They kick the poor when they down. They got black and white fighting one another. A man is trying to build a wall like Germany did or whoever it was that they tore down the wall. But this man is trying to build a wall to stop people from coming over to the United States and they can't stop them on their own. Because rich folks hire them for less money. Do you know if a corner store, if a store was to hire one person, everybody be working. Do you know if a church would take one person in, there would be no homeless. But we sit around and judge and talk about, they got us fighting against one another. One lied to us. They lied to us about God. Who knows that God, and when I say God, I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Because Jesus was formed. And that's what's written. Before me, there was no God formed. But who believe it? They say grandfather God is the father. He's the only father. He's the only God. His son ain't God. Those that are head of God's house got a curse. Have you ever read that? They got a curse against them from God. I have to read that to you one day too. Well, my 15 minutes is almost up. But let me tell you the truth. Jesus is worthy to be praised. He's the one that got up from the grave he's the laws of laws the king of kings the beginning and the end the truth that is the light that shine in me and you i said to myself that god is true he's coming back for me and you creating everything new Jesus Christ, he's the Father, he's the Son, he's the Holy Spirit, he's worthy to be praised. Yes, he's worthy to be praised. For the Lord God Almighty, the truth that is the light that shine on me and you, he's coming back again, and that's the truth, Jesus is worthy, worthy to be praised. He's the one that got up.
from the grave. He's the truth and the light that shine on me and you. Well, my 15 minutes are up. 15 minutes and 14 seconds. Take care of yourself. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. Take care of yourself. Bye.